So welcome to Rough Cut Tuesday, where things are a little more casual. It's a mix of our day-to-day -day activities, some looks behind the scenes, our personal observations, and really, whatever we want to say. Today we are wrestling with the eternal question, should we stay or should we go? You could say we're having a clash of ideas. <clears throat> <laughs> we are the Culture Trotters! In late February, we left the States with nothing more than carry on to become a full-time, world-traveling family. Three weeks in, COVID-19 shut down the world and changed everything. It's been quite the adventure riding things out in Mexico. Click that subscribe button and join us as we explore the reopening of Mexico and the world. So I came to Mexico for three weeks, and that was six months ago. <laughs> now our visas are expiring, COVID's doing weird things still, and we've decided, do you want to stay in Mexico, do you want to stay in San Cristobal, or do you want to go somewhere else? This is a difficult decision with a lot of pros and a lot of cons. So we thought we would share some of that with you, and you guys can help us decide what our next step should be. So we're going to give information and ask you questions. If you had a comment, we'd appreciate it. Get some good ideas, because we've been batting this back and forth for days and weeks now. Uh... Here are some of our reasons to stay. San Cristobal is beautiful. Um, it does rain a lot, but it's not hot. And it's pretty rare to find a place in Mexico that's not hot. So the town is beautiful. Lots of little shops. Very walkable town. You can go all over the place. It's a wonderful place you guys should come visit. we got extra beds. <laughs> Just extra give us a call. Rooms. It's also very affordable here. It's very inexpensive to live where you're going to, whether it's looking for a place to stay or going out to eat or buying food. So we can save a lot of money staying here. We just bought two dozen roses today for a dollar. A dollar. Yeah. And good roses. Long stem, whole thing. So things are open. You can go out to restaurants. Uh, people are much more casual. It's less tense. I feel a lot less tension, which is great for the kids. Great for us to not feel stressed out constantly about what's going on. There's a lot of potential here for us to still explore and a lot we can still do here. We choose to stay in Chiapas longer and keep waiting to see what happens next. Another reason for staying is the difficulty of traveling right now. There's a limited list of places we can even go, which is confusing already. And There's this pandemic thing going on. <laughs> and so you have to wear the mask and lots of hand washing and a lot of places aren't open. Yeah. There is also a lot of restrictions. Potentially we can go to a place, but we have to quarantine for two weeks, or we have to be tested before we go, and we don't even know how to go about getting tested, what the requirements and restrictions in each place. Most places won't let you in at all. Belize said they're opening up. That was cool. So I contacted them, the whole country. I called the whole country, they emailed right back. It was Dear great. Belize. <laughs> Belize at Gmail. Anyway, so I contacted Belize, and they said that, yeah, you can come on down. Come on down, you're great. You can only stay in these certain hotels, you can't leave those hotels, and you can only go on specific tours. You can't go visit your sister. Your sister might be able to come visit you if the hotel, I'm like, yeah, this is yeah. not open. That's fine if that's how they do it, but it doesn't make great travel for us or a great experience that we're looking for. So here are some of our reasons why we would like to continue traveling. One, we want to travel. We, we did because we wanted to travel. We wanted to tour the world. We wanted to go around and see Vietnam and, and Cambodia and Turkey and, and anywhere else that you can think Lapland. of. Lapland. Lapland. <laughs> Lapland, are you open? Please comment. <laughs> there are places we discovered we didn't even know existed before yeah. that we discovered researching places to go. Here, we are here because people in Mexico told us about it. We would not have known to come to Chiapas. Also in those really tiny countries in Indonesia, Tuvalu. Right? Like, Tuvalu, and really <laughs> tiny countries, like 10,000 people. And I didn't know those existed. I want to go there now. So we like to travel. We want to travel. We yeah. want to go see things. While Mexico has been amazing, and definitely no complaints about having to spend quarantine here, our goal was to travel, and we left and we made it to Mexico, and we've gone no further. So at some point, funds run out, and this, this is over, and we don't want it to just be the year we went to Mexico. We want to see the world, and we want to be able to have our business being sharing that with you guys. We can't share it if we don't go. Our goal has been to explore culture. That has been incredibly difficult with social distancing. Culture means people, and if you can't talk to them or get near them, it's very difficult to explore culture. One of the things we're concerned about, because staying here is great, but Mexico is ramping up their infections. 
and how is it going to affect not only Mexico, but the rest of the world? Are we going to get stuck here? So right now, there's still some travel options from here, and we're not sure if those will close, if Mexico's numbers keep going up. This is where you guys come in, because we're going to crowdsource this. So if you guys know a place that's open or available or might be opening soon, let us know. No war torn countries, please. <laughs> We're trying to avoid actually going to places where they're shooting people. Yeah. Or if you think our best bet is to stay put where we are and keep exploring Chiapas, or you would like to see more of Chiapas, you can put that in the comments as well. What would you like to see? Because we spend a lot of time and effort doing videos, and we like them. We like doing them. We want to make sure you like watching them. So what do you want to see? Do you want to see more of Mexico? Do you want to see what self-quarantine in another country looks like? <laughs> Do you want to see the shelf of a different Airbnb in a different country? <laughs> then we can do that for you.